Hello everyone and welcome to Pirate 101 walkthrough episode 48. We are oh wait, I'm Cam, joined by Halo Alley, and I think Austin's a bit late, but hello everyone. Um I have a feeling this is gonna be like anyway so so what happened was we stole the so we we were putting on a party for this eagle guy um and we're about to see what uh, what's about to happen and to hopefully get him to join us in war anyway um ali where are you at i'm just selling something really ah. quick my backpack has been full forever oh okay i think mine yeah, is I'm clean almost done. Uh oh not really but it's yeah i'm good for now how are you doing halo i'm actually doing um pretty pretty well i'd say okay in the past couple of hours how so why so why then yeah <laughs> um you know how i was complaining about chapters 12 and 13 mm -hmm. Well, I decided to sit down today and figure them out, so I figured them out. Oh, nice. So you feeling a lot better about it? Yes. So is tomorrow the last day? Um, yeah. So tomorrow's pretty much just the final at 5.15 p.m. Oh, you know what? Today I missed... I missed an hour of my class this morning because I forgot that I'm in Alabama right now and so I'm in a different time zone than I normally am. Oh. I need to make sure that I set my alarm for the appropriate eastern time. Oh. Are you in Central? So I don't miss the exam. Look at this food. Um Amazing. I think so. Truly this banquet cool. is worthy of a triumphal feast. Oh cool. We meet a Gillies now. Here we go. Here it comes, Rip. Oh no. I'm gonna need to be on my heel game. But before we eat, a song! Sing to me an ode of power, of wonder and glory. Sing it! All right. Of course you're, uh, Igilis Now we have to sing for And now, guy. on behalf of mighty Iglamemnon, I give you the ode of bright Igilis. Okay. Now? Oh, oh yes, Capio, play the lyre. <laughs> so, here he sits, proud in his hall. If any foe, beast, ophidian, or monster were to come in here, He'd thrash them all. And bad mistakes. Hold on. He's made a few. But the simple truth is, if he's on your side, then you'll never lose. Sing it, El Toro. Achilles is champion, my friend. <laughs> we hope he'll keep on fighting till the end. Achilles the <laughs> champion. He is our champion. Sure, he's got hubris, but he is the champion. What a bird. Okay. <laughs> Liar. Did it work? I hope. Ah, uh, we're dead. Wait, what? <laughs> that was astounding. Amazing. <laughs> My heart, it sings with joy. Not until this minute did I truly see the extent of my greatness. My greatness. Now, I okay, must dude. return to Troy at once. Let's go, we got him. war for Aquila. I must, for savage Ares, for Zeus, Skyfather. To deny Aquila my glory would surely be an offense against the immortals. Okay. Go, little strange ones. Go tell mighty Iglamemnon, I'll be back. Oh, he did the I'll be back thing. Wow, that dungeon was brutal. It really was. <laughs> Dang. Good thing we got into a sigil for it. <laughs> it was totally worth it. Wow. Not a waste of time. I mean, we had a song from Catbeard and El Toro, so, you know. Okay, let's go. So now, now we're gonna get the freaking water for the for the, for the the Oracle, right? Oh, man, that's what we were doing. Yeah, that's what we were doing this whole time. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> I know. I forgot. I forgot that that's that that was our whole goal. They really threw Not in a Terminator reference there. Yeah, I know. I oh, just because I haven't seen Terminator doesn't mean I don't know the I'll be back thing. Come on, everyone knows that. What's up, Griffon? Uh, 
Okay. So yeah, so the the oracle is gonna tell us where to find the guy who has the map piece. Uh, I'm guessing he won't have it. And or the oracle won't actually tell us where to go. Probably both. I'm gonna say both. <laughs> I'm gonna say both. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Okay, hopefully everything goes well here. And we get the water. Let's see. Theories. So, did you guys watch the KI Live today? Um, I didn't. Is there anything that was exciting? Um, there's some new socialization features, like, um, party, uh, adventure parties, as they call it, where, like, you can get in a group and, like, schedule when you're going to quest together and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Um, that is cool. And then, that's pretty much all they gave away for the update, <laughs> but, um, they answered my question, which is cool, about, um, new events. And Ooh, Rapbeard said that they want to make the decathlon harder because because the uh, um, the community knows how to beat them now. <laughs> Just dumb, dumb. How do you feel about that? I'm like, is I kind of feel like it's my fault. Your fault? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Cam, you're to blame. I know. Why have I never watched Pirate 101 on Twitch before? This is lit. Yo. Yeah, dude. Pirate 101 rules. Okay, here we go. Achilles returns. Good. Yes, he does. And now we must find a way once and for all to breach the walls of Troy. Oh, now we have to actually fight the Trojan War? Okay. Enough is I enough. All we had to do is... Our might is marshaled. Now is the time to strike down the Ophidians. Yeah, you do that, bro. How can we breach the walls? Cunning Ulysses, Prince of Guile. How say you? Don't breach them. Go under them. I say we dig a tunnel that will lead all the way into the central plaza. I have drawn up plans. That won't work. Sorry to pipe up, but those walls are too big and thick. Their weight will collapse any tunnel you dig with the tools you have. Okay. Now, if I only had 20 or 30 hydraulic golems and... S I like not this witchery. We need cunning and daring, not doggy tricks. Doggy tricks. Perhaps we That's could entice them out. We could make something irresistible. Perhaps a golden statue of my Carolina. Only you would like that Toro. A she-horse? <laughs> Why the blazes would they care? Good point, Ratbeard. <laughs> the vermin is right. The serpents won't respond to a horse. Wait, make it a mouse. Ophidians eat mice. It couldn't resist it. Give it a hollow belly and we will fill it with warriors. Once they take it inside the city, our troops could sneak out and open the gates. Like the Trojan War? Yes. A what a coincidence. We shall pretend to withdraw and leave the mouse as oh. an offering. The serpents take the bait, and then we spring our a Trojan, trap. Instead of a Trojan horse, it's a Trojan mouse. Enough talk. Go build your rat, or whatever. But know this. Aguirre's does not hide anywhere. Do your plan and get the gate open. I'll do the rest. We need a large mouse. You, pirate, you shall help us. Seek Aww. out artful Daedalus, prince of architects. He will design our Trojan mouse. Man, I you said, yo, get us this guy, and then we'll give you the water. And then you'll be like, huh, well, first, how about you do more stuff for us? This guy. You, you can port to me, by the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, wrong. This freaking guy, dude. Watching this brings you so much nostalgia. I love pirate, dude. That's awesome. I'm glad. A mouse? Dear me, I don't think we have any mice left in Nova Aquila. We're building oh, one, dude. Build a mouse. Thank Intriguing. You. Yes, I can design it. Let me see. Oh, hmm. we're gonna need. We'll to put the legs there. There. Yes. We're yes. gonna need to fight things for supplies. Of almost course. definitely. Should it have wings? <laughs> no. Then it would be a bat, wouldn't it? There you are. One mouse, wooden, wheeled. Room for 50 warriors. All you need is some timbers and pitch. 
and to assembly. Okay. The vultures always carry pitch of to repair course. their ships. Get some from them. You'll find plenty of timber in the hills of Akea. Mind the satyrs. Ah, uh, ship battles. Um, could one of did you, one of you guys mark here? We're almost definitely gonna have to come back. I marked at the Oracle. Little did I know it would be forever till we actually go back. <laughs> um, my mark is in Nova Aquila. Okay, I don't that know might where be that helpful. is. That's where we just were. So I think I think Ali's um mark will take us back to this dude. Okay. Because oh, my mark here. is back where. It, uh, oh yeah. yeah we're Where's my ship? There we go. You know, I think it's kind of crazy how you can get on your ship and you're floating in the sky, right? And then, like, I was on my ship and I was almost where Allie was, and then she was like, you could just port to me. So I just, like, clicked port, and I, I, I was looking at my character just kind of flail around, and then, you know, you, like, bottle your ship up while you're midair, while you're teleporting to your friend, and I'm just like, what are the logistics of all this? I know none of it's supposed to make sense, but like, <laughs> I'm just jumping off my ship in the middle of the sky yeah. to just like, you know, land where Ali is. But also just like teleporting in general shouldn't exist in Pirate. Like it makes sense in Wiz because you're a wizard and you can use a teleport spell, but like why can Pirates just teleport places? <laughs> Maybe they do have a little bit of magic because like how do these... Um skyways work and how do our ships float and i guess the whole world is magical the whole spiral yeah i feel like wiz and pirate exist in the same universe just on different planets or something well on the same pl they technically yeah that's weird like like the mushus for instance there's, it's the same world it's just like it's just different it's di yeah it's yeah connecting things always brings hardships like that yeah. Um, also, they said they want to. Um, there. I. So my question was, like, since I like Beast Moon and Decathlon so much, are they working on anything like that? That's just like a, a game mode that we can play. And they said yes. With the new world, there's going to be a new one. Ooh. So that's cool. I'm guessing it's going to be like a worthy burly <laughs> in a way where it's like. It's part of the new world, you know? But hopefully better oh, yeah. than that one. Is um, that the one you do in... Um, Imperial. What's it called? Yes, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. the game? Yeah, that's, that's the game. So so it might be something like that, maybe. But also they said they're, they're thinking of adjusting to Cathalon to have two people. Like having a cool. new one. Like a new version of it where it's dual. Which I think would be really cool. I feel like that would be a lot more, maybe not intimidating. Yeah. Well, I mean, they would obviously had to make it really hard, so it's probably just going to be, it's probably going to be just as hard. But it'd, it'd be fun to just like have more game modes where you had to like really coordinate. I think it would yeah. be fun. Um, new world for what? For wizard or pirate? Definitely Wiz. Um, Wiz is coming out with a new world probably in. Uh, Three months, four months, yeah, about three months. No, four. Wait, yeah, about four months. Whoops, I can speak. About four months. Um. And they did say something about pirate. Oh, they said that more people are playing pirate than they expected in the beginning of 2021. Good. That's good news. Yeah, they're like so. It like, so like like <laughs> basically they were saying that the revive pirate thing worked. So that's cool. Wow. Like pe okay, more people are awesome. playing. Like there was just like a random spike. So. That's so, really cool actually. That it worked. I know. More people are playing the game. That's awesome. We got to keep getting people to play it. It's a good game. Okay. I have one of four. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I have one of four too. Okay. Also one of four. Oh, okay. I, I was half expecting Halo to be like, I'm already done. <laughs> <laughs> Revive Pirate. Yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to do that, but I. But my main account isn't subbed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got you. Yeah. We need Farrick out here. 
Anyway. Um. Yeah, uh, Dutch, this is another one of the, uh, the ones. It's called, uh, Hello Walls. <laughs> For your list. Yeah, this one, the drop rate is not very good. No. Oh, I got two of four. Let's go. I still only have one. No. <laughs> Show me the name again. Hello, hello, comma, walls. Yo, Austin, you here? Okay, he's in chat. <laughs> I got three, yo. Getting lucky today. Did you get two at least, Allie? Not. Oh, okay, it's all right. No we one. can just get more uh, nautical <laughs> XP. True. You're almost done with all the side quests? Oh, okay. Ow. Now I have two. I got them all, wow. How are you doing, Halo? I have three. Three? Okay. I'll just keep going. Should be able to finish Aqua and Valencia 2 tonight? Oh, you're talking about yourself. Yeah. I was like, no, we won't. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, in general, they said they're, they're going to be working more on Pirate, so that's good news. In general. Good, I'm glad. Yep. It's about time, I feel like. Yeah. And what else was in that KI Live? Obviously a lot of stuff that no one really cares about. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Really, I didn't really miss much then. Yeah, I'll have to look up. Like, I was watching Farrick watch it, so I'm pro I might have missed some stuff as well. Oh, like him reacting to yeah. it? Yeah. Um, it's a shame that they don't, like, they don't, like, tell us what the updates are going to be until they, like, the day of. Oh, why did they do that? Uh, I mean, to keep it secret, I don't know. To protect themselves if they don't end up getting it all done, but... I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Why did Spark make that? Oh, yes! I was gonna make... Okay, I need to make a, a compilation. There's so... So <laughs> so Spark was like, hey, let me... He had this trumpet sound for whatever reason. That he was playing a lot during the episode. And it was just really loud, and it hurt Farrick's ears every time. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> he's like, ah, trumpet sounds. And it's like, he's like, no! <laughs> Stop That's it! That's funny. It was so funny. <laughs> oh, wait, this is this is the wrong ship. Oh. Wrong type. But anyway, that was very funny. Is it just me or was the cat? Okay, ice. <laughs> oh yeah, there's an exclamation point halo command in Ferrix chat now. I know, oh I'm God. so proud. That's so cool, what is it? Is it it's what is that, it it's, it's that exact quote that oh. Nightsmiter just put in. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay, I got them all. You got them all? Did you get them all, Halo? Yep. yep. Perfect. Is yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, now we're at Akia. Akia, what it is called. Alright, so 
Now I have to get this stuff and then we'll wait. Why do I get a companion from this? I'm interested to see how that comes into play. Do you guys get a companion from this? Nope. Yes. Ooh. been pulled in a while. I jinxed it. <laughs> I probably just did. <laughs> he definitely I jinx everything, especially when I'm playing Cuphead. Yep, it's so funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, that clip you made was hilarious. <laughs> I, was, I was literally just like, this is going great, and then I just lost all three lives the next two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I jinxed it. That was the worst run yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was dying. That and the pen clip. Oh it gosh. Good... Pen I'm... clip is very funny. I'm sad that I didn't, like, I wasn't there for the context. I didn't experience it live. <laughs> I know. It was funny because he choked on it, then went silent, and then all the chat was like, what the heck was that? <laughs> I, I love. I just. I just see Dutch go like, what the frick? <laughs> uh, Cameron is fiery today. Oh man. Thanks. <laughs> True that. Um. One of you guys has a mark at Elios, right? Was it? I do not. Did you have one? Okay. It's all good. I might have one. Yeah, I don't have one. I might have one. I will port and then let you know if it is an okay. Ilios or not. You can hover over it to see what it says. Um. Uh, yeah, I do have one. Ooh, perfect. The cha the transition from him crying to choking was so smooth that it didn't register in my mind that he was actually choking. <laughs> I was just confused. Yeah, it was. was like, what is what? It was like it took it took a, a lot of time for the people to be like, I can't picture what the heck happened. How? <laughs> like how? <laughs> uh, I still have that pen right here. Oh, <laughs> you know how? I, I don't know how many of you guys were here last night, but there. You know how I was getting um, bit by a bunch of like Ooh. mosquitoes and like flies around here. I. Ooh. There were there's like some spider webs on the windows down here, and my mom was like, "Yo, you gotta clean everything out, like like clean up the area downstairs." And I'm like, "All right." So I had to like get rid of all the spider webs and kill the spiders and stuff. But now there's so many freaking flies and stuff. So, you know, spiders do some good, you know. Yeah, when they're <laughs> not bothering you. Yeah. I would hope not. Just get a pet spider. <laughs> there you go. Should I add one of Farrick's Reddit paragraphs? To what? Oh, did you guys add a command? Okay. Anyway, um, build the mouse. Here we go. Let's do it. Construction materials. Oh, there's actually an animation, kind of. It is beautiful. I agree, El Toro. Get yes, inside the mouse. one of my better brilliant plans. Go climb it. What? You've so impressed Great Eagle Memnon that he has granted you the honor of joining our expedition. The honor? Come so on. Me to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me for what? Cease your worries, Captain. I Bro, shall you get owe you your some. sacred water and gather a golden egg for our noble general as well. Then... I'll go home at last. 
lost. Wait, why is getting inside the mouse a sigil? I guess we'll find out. Oh, we're going into Troy. Yep. I'm excited to see what this is. Too. Okay, is there gonna be like a animation? Oh no, we're straight up in the- A oh. fine mess this is! Imagine it, a rat traveling about in a mouse. Keep your crew's voices down, <laughs> Captain. If the serpents hear us, we are surely doomed. Okay. I still say we should have gone with a horse. Far more attractive than any rodent. <laughs> and just what's that supposed to mean? Shut Ooh. your gobs, you two. We're moving. We are now in history, Captain. The mighty city of Troy. The only things between you and the sacred water were a few legions of the elite bodyguard of Sargon the Great. Yo, mods, can you stop flooding the chat? <laughs> Please. Legions? <laughs> Whose idea was this? Oh, yeah, dang. Paragraphs. <laughs> Rouse your hearts, brothers. Call up the joy of battle. Raise your spears. Draw your swords. Lower the ramp and charge to glory for Aquila! For Aquila! <laughs> I actually said it at the same time. Yeah. You and your crew go to the war tower and unbar the main gates. Quickly, we have only moments before they overwhelm us. Mind you, don't Oh, it's so cool that we're inside the, the <laughs> To battle! Yeah, yeah, like we took. Wait, if we turn around, do we see the mouse? Oh, I missed it. Let's go. Oh, you know, I really love the. Okay, I live code today. Oh, the XP oh. boost elixir. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh much. my gosh, that's the most useless item ever. I know, not even an el energy elixir, which is probably cheaper. Yeah, dude. XP is super important. Okay, in in pirate, that might actually be useful. Because you don't get to max level from questing, but... Um, in Wiz, it's completely useless. It's your speed quest one for fun. Yeah. Why am I using Catbeard? Meow, meow, meow. Oh gosh. I mean, XP is important, but it's not like... You don't need to boost it, there's no reason. That is true. <laughs> okay, that's him. Let's go. Sarah. Pop off. Oh, she don't quit. Oh, she almost one shot that guy. It's so close. <laughs> I like how all of their names have like three S's. Those are snakes. Selukos. I use Catbeard. He's he actually comes through for me. All right, maybe. You know, maybe he's good. Let's go, Emmett. Yo, he's just taking everyone out. Oh no! The flanking. Dang it, I don't even remember getting that. <laughs> it got rid of your hide. It did. Oh my gosh, Dutch is no longer subscribed. Wait, A Angus, don't do anything. Is Dutch gonna pay for it this time? <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Dutch pays for nothing. Fake fan Dutch. <laughs> All the cool kids don't have subs. Okay. Okay, never mind. What? I said, can you heal Sarah? But you're already doing that. Oh, no, I wasn't. I should. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Alright. Um, oh, I can do it with this, too. Epic heal. Let's go. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. Dang, dude. Keep going. Pop off. You know, I was gonna ask if you were of drinking age, but then I remembered that you're 47, so of course you are of legal drinking age, yes? Who? Me? Mm-hmm. Yep. I am. <laughs> um, also, I bring a, that up. In an alternate universe, I'm 22, so that is, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I bring that up because, like, I'm in Alabama, I'm in Alabama because Chad and I are visiting his brother, and we're, uh, this is the first time that we've met his, like, new girlfriend, mm -hmm. who's a doctor. I don't know. I don't know how he pulled her. I cannot figure that out for my life. Yeah. But you know what? Good for him. I was talking to her today, and she was telling me about how, um, she was talking about how patients will be, like, reluctant to tell their doctors every single thing about them, but it's imperative that they tell them every single thing, otherwise they can't properly diagnose or, you know, prescribe medicine. And she was telling me about how this one patient came in who had, um, like, acute pancreatitis, and she's 27, and she's like, why do you have pancreatitis and you're 27? And, you know, she comes in there with her mom, and her mom's like, oh, well, my daughter likes to drink. And... You know, she's like, okay, well, uh, well, how much, well, how much alcohol do you consume? And this woman says, you know, three beers, uh, equivalent. And she goes, okay, equivalent of what? Like, are you drinking three beers or what? What is it? And she said vodka. Oh, <laughs> that's hard stuff. I know three three beer bottle worth. A vodka, and he, and she said she she does this every day. Every day. Her mom says she does this every day. <laughs> Dude, there are people who do shit like that, and then like, those are the kind of people that end up living to eighty years old, and like nobody knows how. <laughs> you know, but then some people like you stub your toe, and then you like infected Get your foot and lost your limb. <laughs> yeah. What is oh, up hey, with that? The mouse is back there. Anyway, yeah, that is that is very. Uh... That does not sound healthy. Oh, Allie, we joined another one. Oh no, I'm leveling up my companions real fast. Okay. This dungeon is really pretty. Yo, so you know, I, I think this was in this was in a, a dev diary. You know how in Pirate, when you join the, if you join in the middle of a round, it just ticks the the counter back up to sixty. They're thinking mm -hmm. of doing that for Wiz as well. Mm. Where like if you join in late, you still, um, like, you can still join the planning phase and whatnot. That's a good idea. Yeah, because, like, I hate it. Way? How many runs have you been farming and you just, you get in, like, a millisecond too late and then you have to wait a whole round. Yeah, but that'll change up some cheats, though, too. 
Yeah, well, so so now, well, they already did change it up because, so you have to be two rounds late for the late cheats to happen. Like, if you're okay. only late the first round, it doesn't, most of them don't cast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so now basically you'd have to be, well, I mean, the late cheat is really for fleeing and coming back. That's what it's for. Mm -hmm. So that, that'll still apply. That could be interesting, actually. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. I would be, yeah, that's that's a quality of life improvement that it, yeah, it that is. very much needs. My grandpa is 88 and constantly eats stale food and nobody knows how he's not dead yet. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah. Okay, I can talk now. Oh, hey. Hello. We're just talking about how old people still are alive. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it weird how they, like, I don't know if it's, like, just, a, like, an old person thing where they, like, forget about expiration dates or whatever and they just keep the same food in their, you know, for, like, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, I don't know. Man. I know, then they've got, like, a museum in their fridge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, clear that out sometimes, you know? I feel like that's a good thing to do, just every year, just clean out your fridge, make sure everything's tip-top shape. <laughs> anyway. You know, I, I think my family needed to do that. Probably less than once a year. Less than once more, a year. More, more. Why'd I say less? What? <laughs> more. Say. more than once a year. Like, every- I would do it like once a month or so, clean out your fridge. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Or just like- well, clear I, out all the stuff that is for sure expired. I don't know why the heck my brain said less. Well, that was yeah. so <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of deep cleaning stuff that I, I don't do super often. Like yeah. That. There's like things you do weekly, and then there's things you do once in a while. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, once every few weeks, I'll, like, drink a bunch of coffee in the morning and then get into this, like, insane cleaning mood where I just want to clean everything for no reason. I don't know why. Yo, so I'll just do that come, for, like, hours. You can come to my house when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just, like, once I start on those types of days, I just cannot stop. Also, at, like, 2 a.m., I'll be like, no, not clean enough. And I'll just like start scouring everything for yeah. no reason. I, I know what you mean. Too. Yo, when I like clean up my room after a semester at college, it's actually like so much fun. I don't know why. Sometimes I just like it. Just like, or actually setting up is fun. I don't remember which one I like more, but anyway. Just like, <laughs> turn it, like <laughs> turning, uh, turning a room from like having all your stuff to being completely bare, it's kind of cool. For sure. Within a few hours, and you just kind of get into a jam, to a rhythm. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. And you have two privies that refuse to bring Scratch and Moo. That's so embarrassing. Why would you <laughs> not bring Scratch? Actually, that's kind of Cam. Cam doesn't like Scratch. I don't, I don't need Scratch, not when I'm questing. In Moo, that's different. You always need Scratch, Cam. <laughs> okay. Ask not what you can do for Scratch, but what Scratch can do for you. Not, not much. <laughs> A lot! Excuse you. So much. Scratch is the best companion. Yeah. It's not even an exaggeration. I use him on He's my Witch. He's literally just a buff bar. It's kind of funny. <laughs> the Witch one is where it's really required. At, as soon as you get him, pretty much. Yeah. Because all you use is spells. They said boring. That's awkward. What are you doing? Right oh, you're in Moo, that's right. Uh, I have Blood Flames and Will build, and they're like boring. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. That is. Yeah, I would just leave, to be honest. It's not worth the trouble. Get a minute. 
Ooh. Oh, that was cool. I've never really noticed that. He like, he shoots him, flips it in the air, shoots it with the other gun, catches it, and then shoots him again. Yeah. This is why Emmett is 10 out of 10. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, uh, Dutch, for some reason on the, on the first half of that, that first half of that, uh, you added an extra one. It's supposed to be zero out of 10. Wait, I thought you were going to say added a zero. That's what I thought too. <laughs> like a one out of 10, but you know. Zero out of 10. Same thing. Not even that good. It's even worse, exactly. Yeah. That just shows how bad. Yeah. Well, that's done it. We'll have to fight our way through. I feel like people who say some things are like 11 out of 10. And like, as soon as you break Look the rules, there. and there's just no spin point. That wheel you know? Yeah. Because you're like, oh, well, I'll take 100 of 10. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like 700 okay. of 10. I'm just going to keep going. Then. It's like you can go as high as you want. It just means nothing. Exactly. Yeah. So use the scale. <laughs> God. God, people. Oh, yum. I got a triple musket plus a witch on my next team. Okay. I mean... Having three of the same is kind of nice. You buff each other, right? Yum is an interesting word to use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Austin is being the definition of sus today. Okay. What is the definition of sus, Dutch? I don't know, that wasn't Dutch, that, that was, was Griffin. <laughs> um, My brain is, is the gambled. definition of sus. Thanks, thanks, Cam. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. Just helping you with the lingo. Yeah. All these kids these days. Yeah. What's a piece of lingo that people say today that makes no sense to y'all? Or just like, like most makes things. you feel weird when you hear it? You know what? Just I, I absolutely despise when it was a thing. What? When people would say swag, oh my god, it would damage me. I had got, I developed brain damage every time somebody said swag. It was, it was, oh. That was I a time. I couldn't handle it. It was too much for me. Swag. Oh gosh. And boss. People at my school would say boss. That's boss. I feel like people still say that a little bit. God, I'm sorry. Oh, you I, know what that makes me think of? When I was like... I mean, you know, that, that all that lingo was being used when we were, like, much younger, right? So I think I was in, like, fifth grade when my family visited Washington, D.C., and we were in a mall, and, you know, there were a bunch of those vendors in the middle of the food court who were selling, like, you know, graphic so tees that they print themselves, <laughs> and, um, my- oh, man, this is so cringy, but Cassie- Cassie got a shirt that said, um, keep calm and take care. What? <laughs> that, that one wasn't as, like, it's not as bad as the one I got. The one that I got said, act like a lady, think like a boss. Cause no way. Because <laughs> that, <laughs> that like a boss, the keep calm arrow. And it's just, uh, that, that, that's what that reminded me of. That is a shirt that I have long since donated <laughs> and you know maybe it makes its home in someone else's closet today <laughs> that is the funniest thing <laughs> that's oh that's so good <laughs> the one i had when i was like in fifth grade was you mad bro <laughs> uh, that's terrible jeez a shirt that bro, just I said punched you, you mad, bro. if we went to the same school oh my god i would have killed you <laughs> oh man that's yeah that's just might as well as wear something that says kick me on the back 
Oh. <laughs> yes, <Lee. laughs> <laughs> but that means it did make it's you mad, point. bro. It yeah, does. Point of when you shit. say you mad, bro, it makes you extremely mad for no reason. Bro, that yeah. was the that was the text message that um that made me choke that kid Richard in middle school. <laughs> what? You mad, bro? You mad, bro? Oh, yeah. I mean, he was that being racist, triggering, though, right? <laughs> yeah, he was being so racist. So that's that's very warranted that you would choke him out. <laughs> Look, bro, I was having a bad day, then he was being racist, and he was being a, a, a sore loser about the fact that I didn't like him back, even though I made it so clear the entire school year that I didn't like him back, <laughs> that we were just friends. And, and then you say you annoyed. mad, bro. Like, yep, yep, oof. then he said you mad, bro, and you know what? It made me mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exercise? I thought you said extra fries. Hankers, please tell me you don't have a shirt that says that. I really hope he does. <laughs> I remember there was this one when in like, I don't know, 2013 or something that went around, a meme. That was like, wait, well, I gotta remember what it is. It's like, shoot, I can't remember. It was something, the punchline was like, shoving this pizza in my mouth or something, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Damn it. It was like, yeah, I, I gotta remember. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. It's like, Oh yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness whole pizza in my mouth. That's what it was. I oh saw it everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've literally never heard that. Really? <laughs> Fitting this whole pizza in my mouth? No. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Yo, I can't heal your El Toro from here, but I'll, I'll do a couple team heals. <laughs> Stale graphic tees. That is the perfect name, Dutch. Thanks. Mm, graphic tees. I'm so glad I don't wear those anymore. Or at least not the ones right. that have like quirky sayings on them. Oh yeah, I I never did. I'm glad I. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh man. I'm just looking up old slang terms. Bay. I hated that one. Oh, I hated that one. Dude. <laughs> I regrettably I used him. it. <laughs> but. <laughs> pro wait, did I? Yeah, I don't know. You could probably pull up some old text messages with a high school girlfriend. It probably did. But, dude. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. I don't like it. Making you go to you mad cave. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> Perfect timing. Fleek. Oh no. Yo, these. I feel, I'm really old. I'm just looking up like 14, like 2014 slang terms, and I'm like, wait, people don't use these anymore? Like what? Like what? Give us an example. Um, one of them is ship, like shipping people together. I was like, I feel like people, people still use that. Yeah, I feel like people, people use do. that, yeah. One of them is slaying. Mm. That's a little bit. Uh, they, like the, I would cringe if somebody said, "Yeah, slay." Like I would die inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. I don't know. Do D O E, as in like though. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad too. I feel like oh, that's feel not like that bad. Still use it though. Sometimes, not really, yeah. yeah. I can't even. No, that's not. That's not old. Saying I can't even. Yeah, you know, people use that all the time. Throwing shade, people still use that. Just like the fact that a, like a corporation put together this list is hurting. Just okay. the idea of that happening. <laughs> I mean, oh whoops, I forgot to press done. Okay, um, but yeah, fleek I haven't heard in a long time. I'm glad that one's gone. That is a long time. Yeah, it has been. 
Anyway. Um, okay. Unlock the gates. Are we done? So what, what we're just fighting Probably a Trojan not. War right now? Don't kill the friends of the eagles. You're going down. All right, now we have to. <laughs> We're literally fighting them in the same exact spot that we fought the other ones. This spot, this boss drops the eyes of the cobra. What is that? Aye, aye, Captain. It's a totem that grants first strike. Okay, we'll we'll look out for that drop then. Excellent for Buck. Oh, okay. First strike, I feel like, is a good for a lot of classes. For Swash, it would be pretty good, right? Yeah. I feel like it would be. Yeah. A lot of people will pick Swash these days. As they it's the best. Yeah. I have yet to do a Swash. Someday. I feel like it's really rare that we fight witch doctors as a class. They're not very common as enemies. Yeah, that's true. You gotta do Ratbeard's third promotion? Oh yeah, what? We haven't done promotions in a while. We should do a promotion stream once in a while, if, if we have like a bunch that we have to do. Let me look at my spreadsheet. I haven't pulled that up in a long time. Uh, power level one. Okay, so. Um, I have. Okay, wait, we're almost level 60. Yo, at level 60, there's like. Yo. There's a lot of ones. Most of these are probably just ones that I buy, though. Like bison stuff. And Mushu pigs. Um, yeah. And then, okay, uh, let's see. Universal. Pirate uh, Rat Beard is fifty five. Okay. Bonnie Ann is 57. We can do her last promotion, too. That might take a whole episode, right? That would be fun to do, actually. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll take a, br a break from questing and do uh, Bonnie Ann and Ratbeard. Well, cool. Last promo for Bonnie you have to consider doing. Like, maybe not doing it, you mean? Because you can get stitch gear. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. It's for do a it. very specific type of stitch, though. To be honest. We're gonna do it though. I, I'm gonna. Bonnie's promotion is really long. Oh, we'd have to pick a day that we could go longer than an hour. I'm guessing. Lovely. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, we could just do Bonnie promotion on one day. Um. 
And yeah. We did a poll forever ago. Like, do you want to see promotions on stream? And everyone said yes. So we do it. So, Halo, what? what are you doing in Alabama? Oh, um, I was in North Carolina a few days ago, uh -huh. um, visiting, you know, the cabin right. that John owns, mm -hmm. and then Chad and I could no longer take it being there. Mm -hmm. Um, we had plans to come to Alabama anyway, because his brother is in the military and he's stationed here right now. Oh. Um. And Chad's birthday's in four days, and so he kind of wanted to, like, spend his birthday hanging out with his brother and, um, meeting his brother's new girlfriend and having me around and stuff, so we kind of just drove straight from North Carolina to Alabama, like, two days ago. Trip? It was, like, seven hours. Honestly, it was almost the same amount of time that it would have taken us to get just to get into florida dude f driving out of florida from where we live is so so it takes such a long time florida is such a long state it's like driving through every other straight state is super super short comparatively because it takes like eight or nine hours just to get out of florida from where we are and into georgia Well, do you like uh, road trips in general? Um, it depends, honestly. I enjoy road trips with him. We tend to have a lot of fun. Um, and unlike John, we don't have prostate issues and we don't need to go pee every two miles. <laughs> That's good. Oh, dang. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if he actually has... I'm sure he has prostate issues because he's old, but, like, we make jokes about you know, the older you are, the larger your prostate, and the larger the text size on your phone. <laughs> uh, yeah. We just like to pick on him for it. No, but for real, that man's not like, like... We gotta stop so often so he can go pee. It's like, it makes the trip like two hours longer. And he really likes to backseat drive Chad. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and Chad hates that. So that makes the, the car ride unenjoyable. But when it's just me and Chad, it's it's a good time and we're chilling. Yeah. Okay. It all depends on who you're with. For sure. Point, point. Yo, your sharks go crazy when they get healed. <laughs> you. <laughs> Just spin around super fast. Yo, where's my pet? Has has my pet been out for a while? Um, I think you unequipped it for our PvP stream and then never equipped it again. Oh no, how long ago was that? That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was back when we were in Marleybone. Oh no. Poor pet. Well. Forgot me. Uh, yeah, baby Morgan, uh, I'm sorry. I swear I didn't rem- uh, I, f I don't know, man. Wow. Well, I will definitely re-equip her, because... <laughs> anyway, we'll see how this... Yeah, how that happened. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we had oh, no man. pets for the stream, that's right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We took them off for that stream. I, I actually didn't equip it right after, because I forgot for a while, too. Mm. I think I remembered, like, at the beginning of Aquila. Yo, Emmett hasn't attacked anyone so far. Come on, bro. Oh, 
Okay, Dutch. All right. All right. Now let's see if Iglamemnon got the gates open. Yeah, Iglamemnon, did you get the gates open? We just won. We just At won last, the Battle of Troy. Unassailable Let's go. Troy stands oh, open no, to the legions of Achilles. The walls that kept us out now hold them in. Get to the palace. Follow me. <laughs> go. If we chicken no. out now, the eagles will never let us near the sacred water. You're right, Bonnie. See, to the palace. Fine. Yo, you have a buffaloon? Oh yeah, I got it in a uh it's another like one day uh pack mount. Wait, we have to fight these again? Bruh. I thought we were going into the thing. I thought so too. Yeah, what? <sighs> you tricked me. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Okay. I like that it colors your name different so you can kind of keep track of everyone. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Oh, also, fun fact if you guys didn't watch the KI Live about Pirate, they basically said that they will never make it a possibility to, uh, to redo your origin. Wow. Um. So, make that decision correctly. <laughs> um, he said basically it's like hard coded in, so like you would they would literally have to reset your level, reset your companions and everything. So it's just not possible. And Ratbeard said, <laughs> "I'm sure I had reasons back then when I coded it, but right now I don't know why I made it that way." <laughs> like, okay, dude. But anyway, so yeah, no if you're if you're questing a character that you're hoping to change the origin on, um, you're out of luck. At least he's honest, yeah. They talk about like any name changes. They did say that gender change is coming. I think that means also name t change. I'm not sure, but they said like they're working on it. That's just what they've said for a long time. That is coming oh, down the line. Yeah. Imagine Ellie Thunder being a girl. I know, Honestly, right? I was just thinking like, okay, what if I change him? But I'm like, no. You could. If you know, it, they also said that there's going to be new stitch gear from the skeleton key bosses in this update, I think. Oh, cool. So, eh? Your witch doctor origin is okay. It's naturally tough. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not what you want. I need that gender change because I made a girl character when I was 10 for some reason. I'm tired of Sims offering me packs to be their girlfriend. <laughs> oh no. I'm not Ferric, I don't leech off my fans. Okay, dude. Ferric is like the least leechy of the content creators. True, Angus, true. The most Legi? What? How many packs he accepts? Never. He literally says, don't give me packs. Are they going to add more houses slash bundles? Um, yes. Um, there was a small section. Someone asked Kaylee a question about bundles. And she said they're like, 
she said something about one of them having like some new mechanic to it too. I I want to rewatch that part, but um, yeah, new new stuff as always. Yeah. Sauce takes rare tasty like it's nothing. I haven't. I don't really watch Sauce that much, to be honest. I don't watch him anymore. <laughs> to be by that much, I mean at all, unless Fair grades him for a few minutes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Blake is someone I kind of used to watch, but not really anymore. It's just like there's almost so there's only so much time in the day, and if I watch Ferrix like five hour stream every day, then you know. I want to do other stuff and watch streams. Like, I don't know. I think Blake is too high energy for me. I never got. I never really watched him. Very yeah. Much. <laughs> There's so, so a lot of people comment on that, and he's just so <laughs> over it. It's kind of funny. He's just like, oh. like someone just like Blake. Why are you screaming? And he's like, because I love to scream. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> Uh, I mean, why not? Screaming's fun. I mean, he he's very high energy. Um, it's good for like announcing, but like for like <laughs> for like every video. Yeah, every video and like six <laughs> hours of stream. Like it's gotta be. Yeah, it's not for everyone. That's but... why I like Eric. I mean, he's so chill. He is chill. Sometimes he does like spam click stuff for no reason. Yeah, that's a little stressful. <laughs> and he'll like move the camera and run in circles. Yeah, run in circles, spam click things, and uh, mm -hmm. like spam stab the wall in Valorant. <clears throat> <laughs> He's a little sporadic in that sense. Yeah. Farrakh always be screaming, bro. <laughs> no, he's not always screaming. He does sometimes scream. He gets he gets a little into it sometimes. <laughs> I think he's tried to adopt the mannerisms of other WizTubers. Maybe. And they're all very much, like, screamy. And whenever he does it, it's like, bro, you could be chill, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's, you know... Like, yeah. he didn't used to, you know, yell emote names all the time. Oh, and stuff like that. That's pretty Pagman. <laughs> Pagman! <laughs> or, like, before it was... What, what was it before Pog Pagman? Champ. I don't remember. Pogchamp. Maybe he was just saying Pogchamp. That's it. That was really just Pog. Pog Champ. No, he's yeah. like Pogchamp. Yeah. Pog you. Like, he said Pog you a bunch. Pog you, he said a lot. Yep. That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's not how he would talk in real life. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> I asked him in a job interview and they're like, actually, we think you're a great fit. Pog you. Pagman. Yeah. I feel like he actually, <laughs> no, like I, like, I feel like, like in my just personal combos with him, I feel like he still does that. <laughs> Really? Like if I tell him something like interest, like pretty, like cool, he's like, "Oh, that's Pag now." Like, that's so he, he funny. He just can't turn it off. I feel like. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I guess that's good that he's not like being fake on camera, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's like how he actually is. Yeah. Um. Like I again, like I don't think he, he doesn't try. He's just you know. Yeah. It's like being on stream by yourself is just very, like, you have to fill the space with something. <laughs> For like, sure. You just have to always be talking. Sometimes weird stuff com comes out. Let's go skill to warrior. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Hopefully. There's only like one fight in this house thing, and then we're we're done, right? Quickly, let's catch up he with the says doubtfully. Oh no, we have to. St we still have to, to fight someone else before the palace, of course. Well, they don't want to give up that easy. Yeah. This is their palace. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I should probably upgrade my companions. They're a little under leveled. There's three fights in the house. Oh, bro. Oh, boy. This is going to be a little longer than normal. You 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 guys okay with that? Yeah. Halo Alley. Yes, I'm good. 
Yeah, I'm chilling. I don't know why okay. I said anything. I don't affect anything in these streams. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're an important addition. Yeah, but like I'll I'll do whatever. I'm just here for the ride, you know. <laughs> yeah. What do you What do you usually do when we're streaming? Like, do you play another game on the side? It kind of depends. Um, sometimes I'll be just like reading chat only and talking. Okay. Um, sometimes I'll play a game. Um, those are like the only two things. Yeah. Do you ever like eat? <laughs> you like yeah, I do sometimes eat. Yes, that's yeah. true. Kind of depends. Whatever I'm yeah. feeling. Guys, it's all it's already Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I know. It's end of the week. Sleep in day. <laughs> yes, sir. Um Yeah. Saturday's Ferrix Waterworks stream. It's pretty exciting. He's already at Waterworks. Isn't that crazy? I feel like he just started the series. Yeah, me no. too. <laughs> He's going a lot faster now. For sure. Yeah. I think I actually legit want to reach out to the rap beard and be like, yo, um, <laughs> tell me exactly what you're doing about this uh, decathlon thing. <laughs> or just yeah. like, can I, can I be, uh, you know, in contact okay, about what exactly, how, how are you making it harder? Because here's the thing. You're, you can never have never have done a decathlon before and beat stage 10 on your first one. I think they don't want that to be possible. That's Why? That guess. was so fun. I know. Felt so powerful I'm just like, doing okay, that. Okay, so, so right now you can beat any decathlon with maybe the except, most likely the exception of balance um, with deck 6. But if they make it deck eight or deck seven, then it'll just make it a uh, a lot different. But yeah. Sarah and Flanders died. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's right. To those freaking red guys. Yeah. Want to hear my BS story? What? What, how Almond got the blood flames in the first drop? You're gonna miss one of those two. Not that, something else, alright? Whoa! Yo, he just blew up that fish! Did you see that? I swear he's never done that before. He Is just, that like his super hit? I don't know. He just like blew it up with his mouth like a freaking balloon. But it was a fish. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. What are you teaching kids, KI? Now they're going to try to blow their fish into their mouths. And then they'll be like, yuck. It didn't work. He's not bigger. <laughs> Did you guys ever have fish? Oh yeah. Yes, and mine just recently died. No. Oh. Happy Gilmore. That's a great name. <laughs> Happy Gilmore. That's maybe the best name I've ever heard. R.I.P. Happy Gilmore. Oh no. R.I.P. That was unironically the best name for a fish I've ever heard. Oh, that is. <laughs> and he's a goldfish. And he, he was wonderful. Oh. I feel like yeah. When you think of like ha owning a fish, all you think of is how they die and like the kids get sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you lived for like two years. Oh. I had awesome. a beta fish, which is supposed to last like a year top or like like a few months to be honest, and then they usually die. Mine lasted for like three and a half years. <laughs> I don't know how. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so Dutch has a story for us. He's taking this online class over the summer that has a no lecture class. The, so the professor posts on announcements that she wants to do a video lecture at 8 a.m. and expects everyone to be there. I picked this class so I would, I could wake up at noon and not sit in lectures. 
Um, <clears throat> it was false advertising. Okay. That is that is BS. That is in fact fully false advertising. What? Yeah. Do you know how much like a college course costs you? Mm -hmm. People tend to like, cause like when it's high school and stuff, it's like you're, I mean, you're basically there because you have to be, and people carry that mentality into college, but it's different. Like you're paying a, a small fortune to go there. For sure. Yeah, you're not kidding. And you should, you can and should demand high quality. And uh, yeah. <laughs> for me, like five hundred dollars. Oh, okay, for which the state pays for. I had a goldfish that was supposed to last a few months in the fucking last six years, bro. Yeah. Damn. Um, some just want to live. Yes, they do. <laughs> I remember I was watching a comedian just talking about like what must like fish think. Like, living in just, like, a fishbowl. <laughs> like, ah, this is just like the ocean. <laughs> it's so... There's a nice rock over there. Like, like, like it's, so, it's such, like, a small, like... What is your life? You're literally just, like... You can't really move that much. <laughs> and you're just, like, moving around this water thing. Uh, that's a good question. Where do you find goldfish in the wild? I don't know, ponds. Like, honest question? I don't know. Where would you... F I mean, I would assume the ocean, right? Or maybe it's, like, lakes and stuff. Probably. I feel like goldfish wouldn't survive very long in the ocean. There are a domesticated version of wild carp from East Asia. Interesting. Oh, okay. So they're, like, domesticated. Then, So you don't... Yeah. Well, like... Yeah. Like, dogs used to be wild, but, like... Most dogs you see today, like that, it's never in the wild. <laughs> right? Like chihuahuas? Yeah. Yeah, like my dog, she would not survive in the wild. <laughs> She's a scaredy cat. <laughs> oh, it's a wig. Uh, she's, <laughs> she was, <laughs> she's weird. She'll like, she'll like bark at like other big dogs, but as soon as they like come close, she'll like hide them. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> behind Aww. us it's kind of cute but uh, she doesn't know what she's getting into oh I forgot to quit my pet again dang it it's really funny so my cat I guess she learned that when she hears the doorbell ring a new person has come to our house or something mm -hmm. um, and so Okay, so I don't know how, like, she has different expressions that she has. She can, like, furrow her eyebrows, which is really funny. So, when she hears the doorbell ring, her eyebrows will go furrowed. Like, she's super con she's concerned, and then she'll run away. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I should take a picture. That's funny. That it's like, when a when a, a dog hears a doorbell, they come running and, just, like, <laughs> want to see whoever comes in. But when a cat, they just <laughs> run away. <laughs> Right. Ah, new people. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chests. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Let me equip my pet. Ah! Wow. Okay. Um, head to Troy Pit. Snake Pit. Oh! Okay, we completed a place. Dungeon. Okay, it's a new dungeon. Okay. Well, we can stop here then. Perfect. Okay, I was gonna say, that was... If there was, like, three more fights, that would be a really long dungeon. Yeah. Okay, well... That is gonna be it for this episode. I think next... We're going to do Bonnie Ann, or or maybe this. It depends on our schedules and stuff. But, yeah. 
Uh, thanks everyone for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, we stream live on Twitch. Every, not every day. Uh, <laughs> schedule and link in the description. Some days. Some days. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.